Greetings, and welcome to part 10 of the MetLogix M3 version 3 tutorial series. In part 10, we will be discussing the new multi-measure feature finder function in the M3 software. The new feature finding capability in the M3 software is executed using the new multi-measure button in the bottom toolbar. This function allows you to quickly measure and calculate multiple feature types in a single click or marquee selection. Quick feature type filter tool buttons are also available to help hone in on the specific feature type you're trying to measure. We will now take a quick look at a few examples of the use of the new feature finding functionality. By default, the new multi-measure toolbar button will be enabled and can be seen here in the bottom toolbar. This new button can be displayed or hidden by setting the display type in the desktop settings screen. Simply choose no to hide the button or desktop to display it. We will now look at a few examples of using this new feature. To initiate a multi-measure, click the button in the bottom toolbar. There are effectively three methods by which this function can be used. The first method is just to simply single click on an edge. When single clicking on an edge, the system will attempt to move along the contour that is detected and produce the component features. As you can see, these features are added to the feature list. The second way in which the multi-measure can be fired is by selecting with the marquee selection box. Left mouse down and drag to create the marquee selection over the desired edges. As you can see, the system will attempt to find all edges that fall within the marquee range and produce the resulting features. The third and final way in which the multi-measure feature can be fired is using the Enter key when in multi-measure mode. What the Enter key will do when in multi-measure mode is attempt to find all edges in the current live video frame. If I use the digital zoom feature to, to zoom in on a particular section of the part, start the multi-measure mode, and simply press the enter button in the bottom right toolbar, the system will attempt to identify all edges in the current zoomed live video frame. We will now take a look at how the feature filter buttons work. In the current frame, you can see that this image consists of circles and lines with the possibility for some arc detection. We will go ahead and start a multi-measure function. To the right of the multi-measure buttons are the filter buttons. Simply click on each of the filter buttons to disable or enable the feature finding for that feature type. In the next example, we will filter out all lines and arcs from this feature finding execution. As you can see, the lines and arcs are discarded and only the circles were produced. We will look at another quick example of how this can be useful. As you can see, there's likely some arc detection occurring at the top of these connector pins. We can go ahead and filter out those features, leaving only the line features remaining as results. This allows for quick measurement of multiple features in the field of view. This new feature finding capability is also supported in part programming. 
Please keep in mind that when using this feature for part programming, the steps to produce successful registration and datum operations should be performed by the operator prior to decomposing the desired features. We'll take a quick look at an example of that now. In this application, I'm simply going to teach a quick pattern. I'm going to set up a sample datum by skewing and dataming and I will now use the Feature Finder tool. Once the desired features have been detected, we can go ahead and press play to generate our part program. Thank you.